Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 30-3, Chapter 8.1, Starting a Small Business. Now, today we're going to identify feasible small business options for a given community. But before we get there, we're going to do a little review. So, we got to work with compound interest. Now, compound interest, interest calculated on the principal plus interest accumulated in prior compounding periods, or interest on interest. Now, we've got a review working with compound interest. So here, in this chapter, you will calculate the cost of operating a business. Now, businesses often need to take out loans to cover costs. To calculate the total cost of a loan, you need to calculate compound interest, that is, interest on interest. Comp <coughs> excuse me. Compound interest is calculated on the principal plus any interest previously earned. For example, if you borrow money for two years but interest is compounded annually, annually, the second year of interest will be calculated on the principal plus one year of interest. Do you pay interest on the interest? All right? So, business, compound, annually plus. Moving on, the formula for compound interest is A equals bracket P, sorry, P bracket 1 plus R over N bracket NT. A is the amount of money you have to repay for the loan, the amount. P is the principal, the amount you borrowed. R is the annual interest rate as a decimal. N is the number of compounding periods per year. Oh, sorry. A is the amount of money you have to repay for the loan. N is the number of compounding periods per year, and T is the term of the loan in years. So, amount, compounding, and years. All right, amount, compounding, years. Mitchell takes out a loan for $2,000, bought at an interest rate of 3% per annum, compounded monthly for two years. How much money will Mitchell repay in, in total for the loan? Now, per annum, that's the fanciest saying, year. Per year. I don't know why they say per annum, mostly just to scare people. Now, how much will he pay back? Well, the amount he pays back equals the principal, 1 plus R over N and T. Now, the amount we're looking for. The principal is how much he borrows, $2,000. So that's $2,000. Now, the rate is 3%. Now, one trick here, 3%, that's 3 out of 100, or 0 0.03. All right? So, now this goes back to the good old days when we literally bought paper by the square inch. We write it as 3% instead of 0 0.03 to save a little space. I don't know why we still do that. Now, next trick, it's compounded monthly. So, that means every month we pay a compounding period. How many months in a year? So that's 12. N is 12. So that's 12. And 12 times how many years? Two years. Time is two. So, this is just like the sine and cosine law. you got to plug the numbers into the formula. Once you plug them into the formula, it's not bad. But this one sucks. So, $2,000. Now, 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Oh, on, you poopy head. Divided by 12. 0 0.0025. Now, 2 times 12 is 24. So, this is 2,000. There's one decimal zero zero two five to twenty four. Plus one is one point zero zero two five to the power of twenty four. So that's two thousand times one decimal zero six one seven six something like that times two thousand. Oh, come on, don't, don't, don't be that guy, come on. 
Stop that. Don't be that guy. The people are watching. Anyway, sorry about that. Begging with Mr. Calculate, Mr. Computer here. The amount in total he has to pay back is $2,123.51. So, he borrows $2,000, he pays back $2,123.51. So how much does he have to repay? Okay. Now, what will be his monthly payments? Tom, how much does he have to pay back? Two thousand one hundred and what oh, poopy was that number? I hate this getting old. Twenty-three fifty-one. Now, he does this two times a year, or, sorry, 24 times. I divide this by 24. So this is total. One hour in total, I think. This is total. Divide by time. So, I said 24 times. That's... Oh, hang on. Don't check my math. Now remember, the reason I gave you these nice fancy calculators, you go answer, divided by 24, 88, 48. Rounding it off. So literally, that's how they calculate your monthly payment. What's the total? Divided by the number of months you paid off. So, Mitchell has to pay off $88.48 48 cents every month. Now, that is the beauty of a loan. You can get relatively a lot of money. Well, for some people, $2,000 is a lot. But you only have to pay $88 a month, which is reasonable. So you do the same sort of thing with a house and a car. Now, let's do one more example. Graham needs a $5,000 loan. One bank offers him a rate of 3% per annum per year, compounded quarterly for two years. Another bank offers him a rate of 2.25% per annum, compounded monthly for three years. How much would he have to repay for each loan? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So, the first one, let me see. 3% per annum, compounded quarterly for two years. So, actually, I'm going to change the color on that. Sorry. Eraser. No, eraser, sorry. I'm going to highlight that. My apologies. In green. 3% per annum, compounded quarterly for two years. Now, that's the first one. So, A is P. 1 plus R to the N, N, T. You learn to hate these calculations, but still. So the principal is $5,000. So he borrows five grand. Now the rate in this first one is 3%. So this is R. And remember, you divide it by 0 0.03. Now the trick compounded quarterly. Now, that's a fancy way of saying quarter a year or four times a year. Ah, I hate these questions. So this is divided by four. And two years. T is two years. So four times two. So, plugging the numbers in here. $5,000 is how much he borrows. Now, ah, I can't do that in my head anymore. One, oh, you poopy head. One plus, no, 0 0.03 divided by 4, 0 0.0075. And 4 times 2 is 8. 7, 5 plus 1 is, so this is $5,000. One decimal zero zero seven five eight eight. Power of eight is zero six one. Zero six one nine nine 
something like that. Times five thousand dollars. Five three oh seven. Decimal nine nine. So the first bank he has to pay back five thousand three hundred and seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. Hmm, blood sucking maggots. I mean no, sorry, I'm not no. Banks provide several very important uh, financial services, one of which is lending you money. If you can borrow money, yes, for a business or to buy a house, I borrowed money to buy a house, I borrowed money to buy a car. If I didn't have the, uh, the bank loan, I wouldn't have been able to buy my house. Sorry. Anyway. I'm going to pause there for a second. Sorry, fiddling with my glasses tangled in my face. Never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, glasses tangled in the microphone. Information you didn't need. Now, let's try the, the other one. So the other one, I think it's doing purple. 2.25% per annum, compounded monthly for three years. So, this one's a little different. We have times three years, rate is 0.0225, compounded monthly, and it's 12. So this is a slower rate, a smaller rate, sorry, 2.25%, but it's for a longer time. Let's plug the numbers in. So that's $5,000 he borrows. One plus, I'm, I'm sorry, this is getting a little long, I realize that. Twelve and twelve times three. So they charge him interest 36 times. No, I'm not going to rant on about blood-sucking maggots. Because banks, as I said, do provide an important... This is 0.001875. Do not round off. Do not, because the banks won't. All right. Now, you should remember this, because we did this a while back, but I'm going over it again, because... So add one to that. One point zero one eight three. Okay, sorry, zero point. Try that again. That's one point zero zero one eight seven five. Yes, I copied it out. Thirty six power. So that's five thousand dollars. One decimal. Zero six nine seven six. Times five thousand. Five three four eight. Point eight one. Now, oh poop! This video is getting too long. Anyway, let's just finish this video. So, how much would Gray have to pay for each loan? First loan is five thousand three hundred and seven dollars. The second loan is five thousand three hundred and forty-eight eighty-one. That would be the monthly payment in each case. Let's just get it done. So, 530799. This is over 24 months. Did I get that number right? 307.95307. Yes. So, here for this first one, it's cheaper, but. Oh, you poopy head, stop that. Remember, this is the two-year loan, $221. Now, the other loan, he would pay more, 
3.348.81, but he pays it over 36 months. Because uh, divided by, let me try that again, 148. So. So, the first loan where he saves is a little cheaper form, costs him more per month. The second loan where he pays back a little more, costs a little more, costs a lot less per month. So the question here is, one reason. Well, why would he choose the first bank with the bigger, with the $221 loan? Well, saves a little money. pays it back faster. Paying off your bills feels good. Those are the two things I can think of. Now the other bank, the second bank, where he pays more and it takes him longer, he has a much lower payment. The $148 one is a lower payment. So, for some people, $221 a month is a lot of money. If that's the case, then only paying $148 is a lot less. Is a lot easier. Your minimum wage job, $148 is like 10 or 11 hours. Well, with deductions and everything, it's like 12 hours salary. It's, it's closer to 18 hours to pay off $221. So, if you haven't got a lot of money, the second option is better. It's a much lower payment. All right. Now I'm going to pause the recording here because it's getting ridiculously long, and I apologize. But this is the interest stuff you're supposed to know. Any questions? Shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck.